half eight now, just finished packing most of my stuff away, just got the tents put away. And I've got my food on somewhere. Can't really quite see it, it's around there somewhere next to that rock, trying to shelter it. Got some lovely low-lying cloud up on top of the top of the ridge. I like that most of the morning. It's a bit clearer the other way. But it looks like it's gonna be another beautiful day. Just about my breakfast. Be off back into Edale, get the car from the train station, take it to Fieldhead campsite. Then I'll be on a, another walk somewhere, but with a smaller bag, so I'll be able to run everywhere. Maybe not. No, bring it back. away, everything's away now. Nothing left over in me. Looking spot. No trace left. The obligatory no trace left shot. I have left nothing but an indentation in the ground. Which I don't know if you can even see it on here. A little bit there. Look. Straight in the middle. Nothing. Nothing at all. Still got low cloud. I did feel a bit damp in the air a second ago. I thought I'd get the tent away quick before it rains, but I think it was just the dampness in the air. Right, back we go. Set up in Edale. Ready for today's walk. Spent a bit too much time messing about. Had no idea where to go. They're threatening to rain, not rain, gonna rain. So I just made myself a brew. Been to the shop, get some more gas because I ran out last night. So I was gonna camp next to the stream, but I thought, seeing as I did that last night, I'll camp somewhere that gets sun in the morning. So if it's dry, I might be able to dry everything out before I go. But the way the weather's threatening, probably not. But I've decided I'm going to walk to Castleton today and back again. And time for tea. I'll bring you back later. Right, come this way. Up to Mamtor, it's like towards the pass between Lord's Seat and Mamtor, cut through road. Thinking maybe this mud patch is slightly better than before. But no, the mud patch is worse. It's about tripled in length. I did grab a couple of stones to chuck in it. Uh, it's not going to be necessary now because it seems somebody has ripped all the fence down. Seems a bit, well, I don't really agree with it, but I am going to take advantage of it and go around the mud patch. 
But I do not condone this sort of action. I mean, the last few times I've pushed in against the hedge, used my walking poles to balance, put my rucksack on my front rather than left it on my back so I can edge my way around without snagging. And that's been fine for me. No, someone's seen fit to rip all the fence down. All right, I'll bring you back later. Successfully navigated. I decided not to go all the way around the back. So I believe suspiciously deep patch there, probably full of water. There's a fancy falling down in there. So I edged down the side to just before this reddish. Well, buried plant there, tree, and then use the stones to get the rest of the way and hopped across this side. All right, let's carry on. All right, very near the gap between the uh, wanted to show you from here the cars that are coming down this road not sure if it was uh, this point just up here or, or this point here somewhere along this road we're actually lighting up pretty a little faint glow anyway at least with my campsite all the way down there just at the base of uh, I think it was Grindsbrook Clough, just right, right at the base, I was just past the wood on the right and kind of level halfway down that wood on the left, so it's a fair old distance but yeah the car lights are ever so bright coming over here, just thought I'd share that with you, right I'll bring it back later. in pocket. I'll oh, definitely be getting a drink today. Maybe a cake, Let's see what they've got. Alright, so I got my coffee. And while I was in there, Smell onions. I couldn't resist a cheeseburger with onions. So I'm gonna get myself around this now. And I'll bring you back later. Well, that was a really steep descent. Very slippy. I really wish I'd not forgot my walking poles. They'd have been invaluable down there. Just gotta get past this boggy section. That should be a damn sight easier than that steep bit. Alright, I'll bring it back shortly. Nice bit of 
cave. Um, guessing it was some part of the mine, perhaps. Not honestly sure. It could be natural. If anybody knows, please put a comment in the comment section. I know one thing that isn't natural. And that's that Lucasade bottle. Beautiful surroundings. Same about the road. It's sure nice to look at. Same about all these cars. Speedwell Cavern. To be honest, I've not heard of it before, but how cool does this sound? Well, definitely, we're coming back here with the children for an underground boat ride. Sounds brilliant. Right, I'm almost into Castleton there, and it's a beautiful day, great views, I'll just spin you around to them. As you can probably see a small few dots above uh, Mam Tor, plenty of paragliders out again. I just noticed that I seem to be mirroring yesterday's walk in reverse, so obviously you got Mam Tor up there, and can't see very well on this camera. Holland's cross about there. Loose Hill, and I'm off into Castleton behind these trees. I'm not sure. That hill keeps intriguing me. I'm I think it's uh, Windhill Pike, I'm not sure. Anybody wants to clarify in the comments section, feel free. All right, let's keep going. For a pint. left Castleton and now on my way back to Edale I'm going to go by via Hollins Cross try and mix it up a little bit I want to go the same way back as I came so so if I can find my way I'll bring you back in a bit
back at Ollins Cross. That's hard work. <sighs> it's very warden. Great views. I was somewhere on that path down there earlier. Through Winnett's Pass. Blue John. Cavern, down there somewhere. Gonna have a short break up here. Before we start the descent, back down to the campsite in Edo. back at the camps like that it's just through the trees down there I don't think I can get to it that way just gonna walk around slightly it's been another good walk probably around 10 miles again only this time I've got a lot lighter bag so it's been a so it's been a lot easier actually See some of the some of the tents in the background. Negotiate the styles. There we are. This is that section I wanted to camp in. But I did me wild camp last night next to a stream anyway. I thought this time I'll camp somewhere in the sunlight. <clears throat> Maybe dry my stuff out by morning so I'm not packing away wet gear as normal. It'll probably rain tomorrow. So I've defeated the object. Right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Right, I don't think I'm gonna make any more footage of this uh, weekend there. It's going to end up here, the old nag's head. Right. I'll get myself some beer and a pint. Yeah. Beer and a pint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> beer and food some even. Food here, food Take two, eh? Yeah, right around, see you later. Right, good morning. That's it, all my stuff is packed away in the car. Remember what I said about the sunny spot and it probably raining? Well, guess what? It rained. So everything's just been lazily chucked in the back of the car. I've only really put the, uh, the tent in its bag. Everything else is just dumped in. I've got a lot more room because I'm on my own. So I haven't got to worry about trying to cram four or five people's gear in. Right, sorry for the probable wind at the minute but I just wanted to show you the device what I forgot earlier. Alright here it is the new fangled uh, microphone it's just a hands-free kit 
knotted round with all them like bread bag things, whatever they are, bag ties, and a cut up sponge to go over to reduce some of the wind noise. Thanks. I actually have had a chance to watch some of the footage back in the car last night and I did notice at one point the, the cover had started slipping off so the beginning of the trip no wind, end of the trip loads of wind so hopefully well it's a bit crap really isn't it but I can't take any credit for it myself I did find it on the, on the internet Although I didn't actually watch it off my YouTube account, so I'm unable to find the man to credit him. But if I do, in the meantime, I'll definitely put his uh, name in the comments or in the description. Right, I'm going to plug it back in. Another important piece of kit. The hip flask. It's filled with some Aldi's version of Jack Daniels. Very nice. It's a lot lighter than carrying bottles and cans around with you. Alright, so I'll leave all this behind for another day. It's been a great weekend. I've really enjoyed myself. Can't wait to do it again. Thank you all my subscribers and Thanks to anyone that's watched this far. I'm not sure if I'll make this one or two parts because there was quite a lot of uh, footage and photos that I'll probably put into slideshows in the video. So I'll decide that when I get home, one or two parts. Yeah, look, the sun's. The blue sky is coming out now, it's typical. Everything's away now. You can't really see it. All right. Until next time, thank you all. Goodbye. breakfast. Horrible weather on the campsite, it's brightened up now. Didn't cook myself anything this morning. Now I'm going in here. Right, I'm aware I've already signed off on my video. I've just finished my breakfast in this beautiful pub so I'm that impressed with it. I thought I'd just give you a quick show around. Yeah, I love these pubs with all the little trinkets, decorations, curios everywhere. Sorry for the darkness of the screen. But yeah, it's really nice. Let's try and set this down here. Granddad's got one of them things on his, on his wall at home. A few old farming. Implements, scythe handle. Ooh, you can't see out that window. Yeah, beautiful. All right, on my way home now. Get my coat. There we go.